right, guys, this is Sean Ray from Muscular Development Unleashed, and I come with you guys with a lot of uh, trepidation. I mean, uh, we all know the story of the, the week here is a big Dallas McCarver, big country, uh, tragically passed away at the young age of 26 years old. And of course, uh, I was one of his staunchest critics, probably because I believed uh, he was one of the guys that was definitely going to be standing at the end when it comes to the Mr. Olympia in only a couple of short years. And uh, I only wanted to see the best for him and I wanted him to avoid some of the mistakes that rookies have a tendency to make when they don't have the right guidance. Uh, we all know that he passed away uh, doing what he loved, which I've always said, you know, if you can go doing what you love doing, it's a glorious death no matter what age. Um, and uh, we all want to live a long life, of course. And uh, I've been to way too many funerals in my time as a bodybuilder and I was friends with a lot of the guys that helped pave the way and guys that I competed with, you know, uh, Mike Matarazzo, Mohamed Beneziza, Andreas Munzer, Frank Hildebrand, J uh, Don Youngblood. I mean, these guys are still fresh in my mind as it is the tragedy of Dallas McCarver and to add his name, is, is that's a tragedy to this list of, of athletes and bodybuilders. It's, you know, you want to think that you have a solution for all of this and really the solution is you got to take your foot off the pedal. Um, and I just kind of thought Dallas was speeding along the way. He fast-tracked, you know. At the time, I was the youngest overall national champion to come on the scene, and Dallas McCarver actually broke that record when he won the North Americas at just 20 years old. Took some time off to grow, uh, represented a few uh, supplement companies along the way, and worked with some of the, the most knowledgeable minds in the, in the industry, uh, with Hani Rambod and, and Matt Jansen, and of course, Chad Nichols. And, and he, he seemed to be trying to get as much help as he could from as many sources as he could, and that might have helped contribute to um, things happening a lot faster than they should. I mean, he was a man-child, let's, let's be real. This guy, we don't see guys at 26 years old walking around at 300 plus pounds. I mean, Dallas was unworldly. And I think about Lee Haney, uh, when I met him on the Olympia stage, Lee Haney won eight Mr. Olympias, and at his tops, he might've been 245, 248 pounds. And here we have this man-child at 300 pounds. And, and I'll remember Dallas the first time I met him when he landed in LA. I was headed to the uh, Brazil Arnold Classic and uh, I was on assignment for muscular development. He was getting ready to do his first pro show and uh, landing there on the tarmac and coming outside and doing this interview, uh, I believe it might have been his first visit to California. He was bright eyed and bushy tailed and just had the world in his hands and, and went into the California and he actually won it. And I can see that this guy was something special at that time at such a young age and, and having the tutelage of Hani Rombod and that experienced trained eye to guide him along the way. And uh, then we watched him just kind of continue the growth and just getting bigger and bigger and, and more, uh, you know, pronounced in terms of muscularity. The maturity wasn't there, but the size was. And we were just waiting for him to arrive. I, I, me in particular, because he'd done his Mr. Olympia championships right behind Cedric McMillan. He went on to the Arnold Classic and gets second place. So when I gave him the advice to take his foot off the gas and take a break, I thought I was saying the right thing because it was just coming so fast and you know, go really, really, really fast, things happen that you can't see, you can't predict, you can't be prepared for. And uh, he announced that he was gonna take time off after the uh, Arnold Classic in uh, Australia where he passed out on stage. And that was good news to me because I thought this maybe have had to happen so that he can get a better perspective, get some rest and recover. And of course he chose to pack on more size and, and do the guest posing circuit because it was business. He's doing the business of bodybuilding. And uh, it's hard to really get down there deep in the, in, the, in the area that you don't want to go into in terms of being sorry because by the grace of God, there I go. He's doing what a lot of bodybuilders are doing. And he was doing it the way that he wanted to do it. And uh, he died at the peak of his career, uh, in the throes of his career. And uh, it's never the right time to die, guys. So I think what I'm just trying to, to share with you right now is that Dallas was a work in progress. He was a diamond in the rough. And I saw his social media. You guys, you know, you show him mad love. People thought that I was bashing him, I'm hating on him, but I'm a critic. That's what I do. I'll take the, I'll take the heat from the fans, but I know that deep down Dallas heard the critique that I was giving him. Uh, and I know that he knew it was coming from a good place regardless of the people that were surrounding him saying that I was a hater. I was also the guy that said he's the next Mr. Olympia. Maybe not this year, but maybe in one or two years, I believed firmly that Dallas McCarver was on his way to becoming exactly what he dreamed he wanted to be, and that was Mr. Olympia. And now, sadly, it, we'll have to just remember him how he was. Big, smiling, 
uh, respectful, and uh, at times young. I mean, 26 years old. I mean, he didn't have all the wisdom that I have at my age at 51 years old, and I, I forgave him for some of the things he said negatively about my critique. And I also thought maybe I was a little too harsh on the kid, but you know, I speak frank, I speak from the heart, and I tell it like it is, and I, I don't show remorse for those words because I know the critique I gave him was helping him. It wasn't hurting him, it wasn't tearing him down. And while the fans love to take sides, uh, I was one of those guys that was constantly cheering for Dallas McCarver. And today it's with a heavy heart that I have to do this unleashed, but it serves as a cautionary tale that at any given time, whoever we think we are, whatever it is we think we have and whatever we think we know, it can all be taken away at, at, a, at a blink of an eye. And uh, I, I feel very sorry for his family, his friends, and uh, you know, it's one of those days in bodybuilding that we will remember where we were when we heard the news and we'll remember who that person was. Dallas McCarver won't long soon be forgotten. I mean, he left an impact on this industry uh, and he inspired a lot of kids out there and he, uh, he motivated even the veterans of the sport. So with that being said, I wanna give my condolences to his family, to his friends, and from all the people here at Team Muscular Development on behalf of Steve Blackman and Ron Harris and the likes, uh, we all, uh, are sympathetic to the loss in this industry and Dallas McCarver will forever be a shining light and uh, his work his body of work will never be diminished and uh, we all make mistakes and whatever the outcome of this autopsy uh, there's so many rumors flying around about uh, what happened and we all are speculating on what happened one thing we know is he's no longer with us and with that being said we're gonna honor his memory uh, and treasure treasure his legacy and uh, we all got to do an introspective look at what we think we are, who we think we are, uh, and, and cherish the time we have with our loved ones and our family, and, and gather around and support each other and, and build each other up. So with that being said, um, Dallas McCarver, uh, we know that you're watching over all these bodybuilders and uh, you will not be soon forgotten. And thank you uh, for bringing out the best in all the other bodybuilders you competed against and also motiv motivating those that wanna pursue this industry and, and do something with their lives. You did a lot with the short time that you were here and we respect that and we appreciate that and uh, Godspeed. Muscular Development Unleashed, I'm Sean Ray.